Hello and welcome back. I started uh, working on this engine and I thought uh, this could be an interesting project, so I quickly turned on the camera. So here's the story. I have a pretty much destroyed engine. This one has a bottom end failure. All the con rod bearings have spun. Please go back and watch the video. Check this out, guys. Check this out, guys. Can you see that? It's full, 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 full of metal particles. You will find out what happened, what was the reason, and all that stuff. In this video, I will attempt to fix this. So I will remove the crankshaft, take it to the engine specialist shop. Let's see what they have to say about it, if it's uh, uh, savable or I need a new crankshaft. And we will go from there. The engine is filled with metal particles, oil filter. It was knocking badly when, you know, before I removed it, but it was running, so it's not seized. Today, I will remove the crankshaft, put it in my car, and take it to the engine specialist shop. If they can grind it, I will go oversize bearing, and uh, hopefully, it will work. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of these engine rebuilds, but I will be honest with you, a few of you guys asked me in the comments, you know, when I posted that video, why not, you know, fixing the engine? Why not grind the crankshaft, pay 100 pounds? Well, it's not 100 because it's 140, 50 plus the VAT to start with. And if you want to do it right, it's a lot of money. You have to put new bolts on the main caps plus the control bolts. You need new ones. You need good quality bearings. And if you want to do it right, you should clean all this stuff. The oil pump is questionable. So I will try to do my best. This is an experiment. I will keep it, buy a cheap car with a faulty engine, put this one in, test it, use it, do a few uh, hard acceleration attempts and abuse it if you like, because I want to test it. Let's see how it works out and we can all learn from this. So basically, the reason of this video is uh, experiment. Can we rebuild it? And if it's successful, how long it will last? So let's just do that. I will turn the engine upside down, remove the, the crankshaft, and then uh, go from there. I just want to show you the method I'm using to, you know, bolt the, the engine on the, the stand. I made some spacers, very, very easy and uh, basic adjustment. It's spot on, it's stable. I can turn it around. I can uh, undo the head bolts if uh, it's necessary. So yeah, I'm happy. So I'm gonna just turn the engine upside down quickly remove the oil pan and uh, yeah, we can go from there. <clears throat> Obviously, the timing chain cover, timing chain, oil pan has been removed because, you know, I diagnosed the engine and I just left it like that. So we know what's, uh, what's the problem. That's why it's, you know, disassembled. Now I will try to turn it over. I have to be very, very careful. Just like that, the engine is upside down. I just have to undo two bolts. The oil pan is just here provisionally. Let's remove the oil pump. Only held by two bolts. And as you can see, spawn bearing, spawn bearing, and spawn bearing. All four. All four. The block at least is good.
let me just show you the condition of the, the, the engine. These are the main bearings. None of them has spun. But have a look. Con road number four, I think is the worst. Three and two, so so. And number one, again, yeah, serious damage. So I'm going to replace four full con roads. Pistons, I think I'm going to leave them alone. It's a low mileage engine, only like 80, 81,000 miles. So the pistons look good. I will just put uh, uh, con roads and uh, we'll see. So this is the state we are in at the moment. Crankshaft is out. Today, unfortunately, it's too late. Tomorrow morning, first thing, I will take the crankshaft. Let's see what they, what they uh, have to say. And we'll go from there. So, yeah. Fast forward tomorrow morning. As you can see, I just arrived at the, the engine shop. This is like Disneyland for kids. This place is amazing. Everybody's so professional. I ask questions, everybody knows about tolerances, what the right measurement. Yeah, it's, it's a good, good environment to, to be here. The crank was crack tested and uh, they said they, they probably can, can fix it. So I will leave it with them and uh, we will wait for the call. great progress so far but unfortunately I received some bad news just a few hours ago the engine specialist shop called and they said the crankshaft is rubbish even though when I uh, took it there a few days ago they crack checked it and they said it's doable uh, it's not 100% but uh, yeah they, they can sort it out I left the crankshaft I came home and uh, I started disassembling the engine, as you, you've seen in the video. I was optimistic. Uh, thank God I didn't bought the accessories. I bought the four uh, con rods, but it's not a very big amount. I can keep them spare, but I didn't bought the head gasket and the uh, main bolts, you know, that stuff. So, yeah, the crankshaft is rubbish. It cannot be refurbished. And now I have to stop and rethink the whole uh, uh, rebuilding idea. And why is that? I asked the guy, he's, he's a pro. I mean, he, he knows his stuff. I asked him, do you recommend me buying a non-OEM aftermarket crankshaft and go ahead with the rebuild? And he said, Definitely not, not on, uh, on the N47 engine and I will uh, take his advice. Please let me know in the comments if you, you've done this before, you have experience with uh, aftermarket crankshafts. Me personally, I'm not even a big fan of uh, rebuilding an N47 that has spun a uh, bearing and I have my reasons. First of all, financially is not worth it. Everything is filled with particles with the metal particles if you want to do a proper job starting with the oil cooler oil cooler gasket the oil pump you should buy a new one all that stuff you could you can clean the engine i i'm gonna give uh, give you that but still it's a it's a fly risk 
and I was willing to do that, I write it down the expenses so far. So the the crank grinding, they quoted me 150 plus the VAT for the all uh, you know the mains and the con rods to be grinded oversize. But now it's not the case because it's rubbish. Uh, 69 pounds for the bolts, main caps plus the con rod, the big ends. Around 75, 74, 75 head gasket plus the bolts. 48 I paid for the con rods. Uh, another 100 at least for an oil pump and that's the used one. So I have to disassemble it, check for where. As you can see I've started disassembling mine. And it's rubbish as well. It has pretty, pretty serious carring, and it's yeah. I need a, another oil pump, and that leaves us with I don't know. And I didn't even count it the the bearings. Another 150, 70 pounds maybe if you want to put some Colburn Schmidt or good branded uh, bearings, and that leaves us with what seven, 750, and uh, 750 pounds, and Again, a fly risk. It's gonna work, it's gonna last. So, pff, I don't know. Yeah. Water flooded engines, spawn bearing engines. I'm not saying it's not doable. I have a successful rebuild on my X3. That was a different case. It was a main cap and it wasn't fully spawn. It ate the, the bearing, but it wasn't spawn. It was already deteriorated. But hey, it's running after a year and two months, so I'm not scared of these jobs. Don't get me wrong, but I like to do it the proper proper way. And to do the proper way, it costs a lot of money. And uh, at the moment, I don't even have a crankshaft. I could go and buy an original, good condition, not grinded crankshaft. But how much is that? Another 250 pounds, at least 250. So add that to the amount I've just uh, minus 100 because, yeah. So 750, 800 pounds. It, it's a lot of money for a 50-50 chance. Okay, so that's the situation. What's next? I'm not going to just uh, abort this, this whole rebuild plan. I'm going to keep the block. It is now disassembled, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and wash it, but thoroughly and properly. I will put a tray underneath. I will uh, put petrol diesel on the oil uh, uh, holes and uh, try to clean everything. I will remove the oil cooler because this is filled with that filthy nasty stuff, the, the metal particles. So you don't want that in your system. And then I'm going to wait. Let's see your opinion, guys. If some of you bought aftermarket crankshafts and it's working and you have not like a week or two you have the car after half a year a year and it's working please let me know and probably i'll go ahead and buy the the crankshaft i saw on ebay 400 pounds something uh, comes with the the bearing kit and uh, yeah continue the project but at the moment i uh, i'm gonna stop this uh, I hope you appreciate this video because I could have just not posted, but as I mentioned in my other videos, as much as I like to share my successes with you, sometimes it's not a failure, it's not like I've done something wrong, but uh, the, the situation is, is like this. So I'm not completely sad, I've done my best, I still have a good engine block, this block is good, in the sense of the the main cups none of them has spawn so i will clean it thoroughly and put it on a side and put it on the waiting list if i can find a solution there will be a part two of this video we're gonna continue and uh, let's see how it goes until then thank you very much for watching stay tuned i'm gonna start to be more active again i will try to post at least one uh, video per week uh, I will try to bring interesting projects. So take care, God bless you, and see you at the next one.